Hi, my name is Mary. I'm a secondhand stylist located in New Orleans, Louisiana. That just means that I style people in all secondhand clothes. Essentially, my clients will hit me up. I will meet with them and have a style consultation. I'll discuss what their style is, what they're looking for it to be. And then about three to six weeks later, they come in and I have an entire rack of clothes in their style, in, that in, in their size, already pre-curated for them to look through. It's a private shopping experience. I call it a rack hence Mary's Rack, and it's a great experience. I love it, I've been doing about two years, and today is a very special video because my lipstick matches my nails. No, that's not why, <laughs> though that's, I'm proud of that. That is a plus. Today's special because a client is letting me document the process of styling them, which is a huge deal. A rack is a pretty private experience, typically. Uh, there's a lot of like trying things on, seeing about fit, like being a little vulnerable. So it's really, honestly, really wonderful whenever a client says, yes, you can film my experience. So I get all kinds of clients. Um, I get people that are really looking for professional styling because they don't really know what their style is or they're trying to find their style. I get people that just really hate shopping and just want someone to take all of that out of it. Sometimes I get a combination of the two of those things. I get clients that really want to shop secondhand but hate thrifting, which is a whole other thing. Um, sometimes I get clients that just want a rack experience for the fun of having a rack experience. Um, or because they just want to be seen through someone else's eyes and maybe try something new. And I think that this week's client is that last one. I think that this person already has a pretty defined sense of their style, but they really just want the experience of being styled and being seen through someone else's eyes. They want to shop more sustainably, so it's just a really fun way for them to do that. So I'm really excited to get this client into some outfits that build up their wardrobe and um yeah i'll get into it i'm gonna get to the specific specifics of my client now okay i am pulling up this client's intake form so when people get on my wait list i to get on my wait list you have to answer a couple of cursory questions which are just like what are you looking for what's your current style why are you getting styled that's it um and then from there i filter my wait list down because i oftentimes get more people than i can take in a short window. I like to try to keep my turnaround to a new set of racks every two months, um, which just means I can only take so many clients at a time. So I have to select off my wait list. Now, I try to get to everyone on the wait list before I open it again. I just want it to be easy and it's very hard to make it easy. And I also want it to be fair and it's also really hard to make it fair. For example, I want to be able to style a wide range of sizes. Um, and I want to be intentional about selecting clients from a rate a, a, like a, across the size spectrum. But last time I opened my wait list, I had like eight people that were all size eight ten. I can't take eight size eights. Sometimes it's hard to do that. I like really like I'm looking for the perfect clients all the time. Uh, why am I telling you about this? Oh, because I'm telling you about my wait list and how imperfect it is. So. If they get selected off the wait list, then they come in for a consult and we do a much bigger conversation where we talk about really in depth and they can show me pictures and et cetera, et cetera. And I fill out this little survey thing, which I'm gonna pull up. I've pulled it up in the last videos, but I haven't really explained it. So maybe you liked that explanation. I don't know. Do you wanna know stuff like this? I don't know. It feels like more like worky stuff. My client's name is Chelsea. I asked her to describe her current style. She said, funky, feminine, professional, androgynous, tweety professor. Um, and then when we're talking about how she aspires to dress, um, she likes conservative slash timeless pieces. And then she gave me some high-end designers, Miu Miu and Rodarte. So I would say Miu Miu is kind of, ugh, like lots of like, it's, Miu Miu is playful. That's what I, my first word that I would use to describe Miu Miu is playful. They're known for this like skirt that I've seen a million times, it's like a micro skirt and it kind of looks like they chopped off a pair of men's slacks to make it. That's something I'm used to seeing from there. I, I'm used to seeing like ballet flats associated with them. Um, but some other things I'm seeing when I'm looking them up are like knitwear pieces, puff sleeves, like playful, like 
puff sleeves, which I love. Yeah, crocheted pieces. And then we can see some like really bright, colorful stuff. Oh my God, I don't do this, but I could DIY this Mew Mew skirt for her and see if she actually liked it. Because this Mew Mew skirt is so easy to DIY. It's literally a pair of men's pleated khaki pants. They're cut off and have pockets exposed. Like, to anyone watching that wants this micro <laughs> mini skirt, you could make this. If I find some men's khaki pants that I actually would be small enough to fit my client, I will maybe consider doing that. Dude, Mew Mew's spring collection is beige city. Beige city. That's my feeling about Mew Mew's spring 2023 collection. I am not a very like in tune fashionista in this way. Like I know how to make people look really great in clothes. I know how to thrift. But like when it comes to like analyzing Mew Mew's spring 2023 collection, what I see is like not things that are ready to wear and like not outfits that are realistic for anyone that I would style. So this is a challenge for me. I love it. I know it sounds like I don't, but I promise you, like I love being challenged. I love like trying to get better at something. And like, this is per this is already a challenge for me. Cause nobody ever gives me high fashion inspiration. And I like a lot of the individual pieces. I mean, I love, I love a lot of the individual pieces, but when they put the outfits together on the runway, I'm like, who is wearing this? Nobody. There's no way. You know what I'm seeing with Mew Mew? The trench. The trench is back, baby. All versions of trenches are back. So my client's a lawyer. But unlike my friend Reagan, my client Reagan that I styled, her office isn't as, ma as male dominated, so she feels like it's sometimes a fashion show. She told me like everyone in her office like really like they look good. So she feels more I think I think that gives me a lot of wiggle room, right? And and it's Kind of fun for me honestly she's looking for outfits to go on dates to go to dinners she likes to go out with the friends she's looking for some loafers loafers are hot right now i can't keep loafers in stock so the loafer has made a comeback at least in my client world so yeah chelsea is mad cool i think that she is excited to you know punch up her wardrobe a little bit, you know, get in that office fashion show, give them a run for their money. I'm gonna have a lot of fun styling her because this like kind of higher end stuff, this Mew Mew Rodarte inspiration, like that's not stuff I typically source and I'm excited to see what I find that is actually wearable um, because I want to give her pieces that she's going to wear, correct? So I'm excited for this challenge and I think I'm just gonna go straight and show you some footage of me already thrifting for this client because, spoiler, I'm not gonna edit this and lie to you. I have been sourcing for her, but don't worry. I thought ahead and I took clips of myself at the thrift store, so you're welcome. Okay, so let's insert, insert them here. Okay, hear me out. What do you think about, what do you think about for Chelsea who I mean, obviously this top is giving me the Mew Mew because of the knit and the little puff. And then I was like, ooh, what about with these slacks? Now, this measurement would fit her like lower on her hips, not so much on her waist. Um, so I don't know, and the length is not quite right, but I'm wondering if she wears them lower on her hips, if it will hit right. I might just take the risk on these slacks because I just like them otherwise and they're on half off today. So I just think this could be the beginning of a really cute outfit. Maybe it needs a belt and something else probably, but yeah, I don't know, could work. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this for her because of the very fun velvet fabric. I love the fabric on this dress. I like that it's a mini dress. This client's like not afraid of showing skin. I also like that it's like super, super bold and it would be fun to add a really playful shoe to it. It's originally from Urban. I just, um, yeah, I just think it's so fun. I love that it's got butterflies. It's giving me very like Gucci high fashion. It'd be fun to layer some more bright pattern pieces with it. All right, I'm gonna source for Chelsea in my inventory that I have in my shop. You can see some of it here. Um, typically I do this first, but it just didn't happen in that order this time cause, cause that's just how I am. So I'm gonna start pulling. All right, I'm just gonna start pulling for Chelsea. Uh, the camera's kind of at a weird angle, but I figure I'll be able to show you things easily here. I'm putting this velvet two-piece and tailor suit set on here. It's vintage. I might put this like kind of preppy dress on here just cause 
it's giving I work in the law office in the south and also it's just like a beautiful classic piece I think it's cute it's Brooks Brothers I think it's so cute this is giving me Mew Mew but it's also kind of giving me young and Chelsea does not give me young but she's pretty long-legged so I feel like since this is kind of short she can make it very high fashion with an interesting shoe maybe but I'm gonna stick it on here because of the puff but it's more cottage core than Mew Mew but whatever I might be like splitting hairs I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on there because why not why not why not look at this very adorable 90s it's like mohair, lamb's wool, angora. I need to get a velvet hanger for this one, but I'm gonna put this really fun cropped knitwear piece. It's originally from Free People. It's got a hood, super fun. I need to get a better hanger for it. This this is not, this is like Chanel, but a different kind of high fashion. It's actually St. John, which is like, you know, definitely lives in the world of Chanel, but it's more like, affordable luxury you know like a woman might have one Chanel piece in her closet whereas she could have like four or five St. John pieces but they're still really expensive really high quality knits that they make so I don't think it fits our prompts for this one but I would also call this a designer dupe I have this like really sexy cutout dress with the Reformation dress Reformation is you know designer vibes this is like very sexy Slinky, slinky, sexy, slinky. Um, it's reminding me of one of those Rodarte dresses that I was looking at. This is a designer. This is Helmut Lang, which eh, I think they sell at like Nordstrom's. Um, it's got this crazy like frayed edge, slinky champagne peach kind of color. I don't know. This is pretty. I'm putting that on there. Okay, this is like a slinky '90s swingy dress I'm putting on there for me for now it makes me happy will it last I don't know I don't know anything this early guys I just like really just follow my instincts like that's the part of the rack that this is this is me just like getting a feeling for what I think might be the vibe and then I just narrow it down and narrow it down and then I go to the thrift store and then I narrow it down so yeah okay I grabbed basically anything I had that was knitwear out of my tops or gave me like fun texture. This one's like a silk knit with these tassels. Very beachy, I don't know. Just grabbed anything. This is like a duster, open vest kind of situation. You know, just doing my initial pull and realizing how much knit I have. Okay, here's some more tops. Plain t-shirt, you know I have to put a plain striped tee. This is like a novelty horse top um, this is another kind of novelty horse print I don't know seems like a horse girl to me <laughs> no I just like that these are like professional uh shirts that have a pattern on them I think they could be fun for a work outfit that's like a little bit playful but work appropriate um I pulled this really cool Lily Pulitzer sweater just because I thought it was fun this is another one of those like kind of more interesting printed work tops it's got the like puff sleeve and the pussy bow this is just like a little Madewell knit. You can see, I just, it's just a t-shirt. I just, or whatever, long sleeve. And then this is an Escada, another striped piece, but this is like a more like, it's not see-through, but it's, it's an interesting knit. I don't know if you can tell. Escada. So, designer, baby. Designer already here in Mary's Rack. You can get designer second hand. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Don't do it. Hello, do I look like that I, I could fix your car? Do I look like a mechanic? Because I'm pretty sure this was definitely once for an actual mechanic and now I just wear it as fashion. <laughs> it's like an old Sears boiler suit situation. I think it's um, maybe from the 70s. I don't know, hard to say. The color is kind of small for the 70s. The tag looks vintage. I don't really care. I just think it's so cool looking. All right, so Chelsea's coming here this weekend. It's Friday. She comes on Sunday. And do I feel ready for her? 
yes and no. I have so much stuff on her rack. So I definitely need to weed it back a little bit. There's, there is a too much stuff on her rack. And also I just, I, I have a lot of pieces here, but I don't have a lot of outfits. I love these pants so much. The rise is a little low and they will definitely be too short on her. But do I still wanna leave them on here because they're plaid, she loves plaid. And it might be really fun to build an outfit with, fit with them. Let me check the inseam one more. Ugh, these are gonna be so short on her. Long leg McGee, yeah, they're gonna be too short. They're a 28 inch inseam. She really needs like a 30. I think I'm gonna keep this cause it's giving me like preppy law school vibes, but like the texture, the color, it's like cashmere, I think. What are you? Yeah, silk and cashmere. So I love this for her. I'd like to build it out into a more layered outfit. So this is a definite, this piece. I think I'm gonna take this off. It's a little too hippy dippy. It's kind of like open. I don't really, I'm not wild about that. Um, I love the color of this one and I think the texture is great for her. It's just very summery and we're in fall. So that's kind of hanging me up, but I might leave it on as an individual piece. This one, this one may or may not last. I just, how cute is that? I love it, I love it. I'm leaving the Escada tee on even though it is a little bit sheer. Um, I might layer it with something. I did try layering it with this because of the colorways, but it just doesn't look right. But I might see if she wants to try it when she gets here, but I don't know. I just like that it's got the same like light pink in it. I still haven't decided on all of these shirts. They're all the same vibe in the sense that like, I think they'd be fun for the workplace to do some like layering of pattern and um, you know, texture and stuff. So imagine these with like blazers or tucked into some high waist slacks. Um, they're all just really fun printed long sleeves. So I've showed you this one. I've showed you this one, but here's a close up of the print. And then this is also kind of like the horse one. Do I need to leave all three of these on the rack? Probably not, but I haven't narrowed it down yet. The one I want to keep on or the two, but I'm leaning towards these two. I'm going to leave this on there. It's just too cute to take it off and I like it. So I'm leaving it on. I put this one on here for me. I should probably just take it off. I don't think that I'm gonna leave it on. It's, I love this dress. Okay, leaving this on. Definitely gonna leave this on. We've got this Ann Taylor silk and velvet two-piece set. What can I style it with? Maybe, maybe this. I think I like that. I think I like that. Okay, so imagine the pussy bow tied and then this button. Let me do it real quick. Okay, so this is the velvet buttoned and here's the bow. I'm thinking I like it. I didn't show you all this blazer. Look how incredible this blazer is. Beautiful, beautiful blazer. Love a contrast color, love velvet. Oh, and then look at the, butt, the back of this. How cute is that? So I put two trenches. I've got this black trench. It's like giving me more like Y2K 90s. And then I have this more classic vintage trench, um, detective trench, if you will. It's got this really pretty back detail with the buttons. So two trenches. Apparently, I don't have a very good transition for this spot, and it's because I was feeling very sick and tired. I hadn't slept the night before. So I'm just going to abruptly go into some more thrifting footage. So please understand that I am not good at transitions or remembering to film them. But I did go back to the thrift after this. I'm back at the thrift. I want to look at more. I need slacks. I need something that's not cropped. So far, everything on her rack is cropped. And I don't want to give her crop stuff because she probably has to deal with a lot of crop stuff as a taller person. So I'm going to look for some slacks. Fingers crossed I have some luck. And I'm going to look at some more tops because my top selection for her is very thin. I do not need to look at dresses. 
will I still look at dresses? Maybe. I don't know. So back at the thrift. Fingers crossed. I just want to find a couple more things. I mean, the rack is really full, but I'm a perfectionist and I can't help them this way, okay? Um, this reminds me of that one knit piece that I showed earlier for Mew Mew, but it's a medium and she's not really a medium and it also is $11, so no. No, it won't, but I like it. These are kind of perfect for cutting off to make that mini, but I don't want to pay $11 for a pair of pants that I'm going to destroy. They're really nice slacks otherwise. And they seem long enough for her. But I'm not like wowed by the color of this khaki. And I would do it to cut it off into a skirt and just test it out. But I don't know. They don't seem right. Stupid price. This is just a plain black silk vintage skirt. And ugh, it I'm not going to get it for two reasons. Number one, the waist is like the tiniest bit too small. I mean, it might still fit her comfortably, but I hate running that risk, especially when there's like a little bit of damage, which I just need to put a button here. And there's already a little, whatever this is called, um, but I'm not gonna fix this. And because it's just a little too small, I'm not gonna get it, but I just love it so much. It's such a good basic. Oh well. I'm gonna get her these slacks. What's funny is that you can still see the tag on them from when they were at like a consignment shop, but they're this like vintage um, designer called Savon. I don't know this designer very well, but if it was at a consignment store or something tells me they might be a nicer brand, but I don't really care because the construction is really good. I love the cut, I love the taper, and I think it'd be really fun to style them. So definitely getting these little slack dues. Okay, these are very cropped like the inseam is 25 inches but i love them so much they're like a stretchy high quality denim with this like chewed hem and they kind of do the kick flary thing at the bottom you know what i'm talking about not so straight it just kicks out but i'm worried if these are gonna look like straight up capris on her because i really need like a 30 inch inseam so a cropped inseam for her would be like three inches above that I think is what I would say at least. And I just think these are gonna be too short, but I, I kinda still wanna get them just for the shop because I like them a lot, maybe. And then I didn't show you this dress, but I think I'm gonna get it. It's an old Target house brand dress. That's just this beautiful like lime green chartreuse color. I'm gonna try layering something over it. Maybe that pink sweater vest. I don't know, I just love the color. I love the puff sleeve, love the like funky, fun vibe of it i don't know i'm getting it either way and then of course i found more knit we got this knit situation it's just so classic the problem is, is this is so springy and we're in the winter so i'm thinking maybe it's a no and i have enough knit with no sleeve so now i'm changing my mind this is a no but i'm definitely gonna get this more like boxy knit t-shirt it's got this like split neck situation i'm gonna get this i just think it's so cute it's half off today and i think it's gonna be an easy basic to pair stuff with also it will literally go with these slacks i mean that's a way more casual look but it could be on a casual day at the office like still really cute so i don't know I th i'm definitely gonna get these two and this three things for my client oh i want to show you this other really fun thing that i got i got these crazy shoes they're leather. They're obviously from like Central America, Mexico, something like that. Someone, they have like all kinds of shoemakers down there that make these really ornate tooled leather shoes. But like the peacock is what really got me. And I think they're only three bucks. So I just, I can't leave stuff this unique when I find it. And honestly, if they fit me, I might just keep them myself, but they don't zip on me. Okay, this is more for that like Tweety Professor side of Chelsea style. It's this really cute little houndstooth, long line kind of pencil skirt. Um, I'm not sure about it. It's not like remarkable, but it's a very good base piece and it's a nice little vintage, 100% wool. <sighs> this is a maybe, this is a maybe. I'm not like totally wild about it. Just because it's like kind of heavy to be in New Orleans. 100% wool is like, that's warm, you know? She's not going to be able to wear it all year at all. So I don't know about that one. This is an Oscar de la Renta top. So yeah, it's cashmere also, I think. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. It's wool. 
So wool, Oscar de la Renta top. I just love it. I love the knit. Fun, fun, fun. Definitely gonna get this little basic for Chelsea. It's pretty easy to dress up. It's in great condition. I just think it's gonna look sweet on her and I just, I love it. Chelsea's on her way over. I have recorded this video in like such a like chaotic, out of order way that I am feeling a little cuckoo and I'm, I know I didn't really show you everything. You saw stuff at the thrift. You're just gonna have to see it on her. and. What I show you is what I show you, but you got a really good idea of what's on the rack. I love rack days. These are my favorite days. They are so much fun. I've never had a rack yet that I was like, oh, that wasn't fun. Every single time I do this, you guys gotta understand, I love my job. Every time I do it, it's so fun. Never had a bad experience yet because the kind of people that do this are very specific kinds of people. They're like trusting people. They're smart people. They know themselves because they're able to communicate it. It's honestly an honor. And I just, I'm, I always have fun at racks. Never not had fun. Always fun. Okay, she should be here soon. <laughs> okay, Chelsea's here. Say hi, Chelsea. Hello. The first thing she tried on was this two-piece velvet suit. Which, the the pants, when she walked out in just the pants, I was like, okay, well, these pants are perfect. But how do you feel? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire. It fits so well. Not tight at all, which is great. And they're very comfortable. Cute. Yeah, I like that you paired it with this bright shoe, too. You were like, I'm going to go fun, hardcore fun. Oh, yeah. Chelsea put on this golf belt from uh, Brighton. Brighton. Look, you can see it's got little uh, <laughs> little charms on it okay. to cinch in this like green the, dress. It's the perfect size for my waist, um, and I've been needing a belt like this. I was saying to my friend recently, at some point in college, we just thought that belts were out of style. I like, mean, I cool. did too. I did so too. We were like, oh, belts are not belts a thing. Are lame. Like, but no. Get rid of all your. We belts. were we were incorrect. You're wrong. We were wrong. Belts are everything. Belts are belts are life. <laughs> In our Peridot. So cute. Yeah. This is my birthstone. Are you a, are you an August baby? Okay, yes. That's also my birthstone. Need this give this outfit the respect it deserves. These are those men's trousers. I showed myself thrifting these, so they're going to see them in the video before this. And I'm curious how you feel about them. I think they fit you exactly how great. exactly how I thought they were going to fit is how they're fitting you. They're like, they're snug-ish in the waist, but not too snug. Mm -hmm. They still eat eat a good lunch and probably I might I might not sit for lunch <laughs> uh, but they feel good and um, the color is nice the color is really fun the pleating is nice and I like that you did double gator uh, gator loafer gator belt there we go this is definitely giving me that Tweety Professor vibe too mm -hmm. I was just telling Chelsea that this feels like it nails the prompts that I was working with, which was like Tweety Professor, feminine, androgynous. Like it has all of the notes in it, but but also like still like just, it feels like you. Yeah, it is. But unfortunately the shorts are a little too tight. We're a little snug. We're a little snug, which is a bummer, but I love the shorts. And you've left these shoes on for a while, which makes me think that you're... Winners. You're really liking the shoes. The shoes are great. These came out of my personal closet for anyone for for anyone that needs to know I have sacrificed I have sacrificed these loafers. About this long that was like a second hand find in Atlanta. But it's great. So you We've gotta show the people the back detail. The back detail. And then this is what I was coming for. I was coming for the horses to show them the horses. It actually like looks pretty good with the brown, I think. Yeah. Unbutton it. The brown, the gray, and the blue all work. And guess what's on the feet? You'll never guess. <laughs> it's, Same shoes. It's the loafers. The loafers. Oh, wow. Them. Wow, yeah. I think they're lined with something nice. Yeah. Too. Sometimes the size of a really As Mary sucks. does. You know, I like a lining. I like a good lining. <laughs> this cross section right here where you can see the pant, the jacket, and the shirt, it's like... Wow, this would be in the lookbook. Like, if there was, like, a photo, you know, it would be, like, this Little area. Tortoise shell buttons. Ugh, the details, you know. Love them. I like to show them the things that they'll see in the video, and they will see this. Yeah, the length is great. That it's was so a concern cute. for me with things, that they're long enough. So the length is great. If I go like this, there's no... 
Yeah, I think the issue is is that every single thing you've tried on, with the exception of one thing, has fit you perfectly. And I just think that that means that I am so good at my job. You're pretty good. You're pretty good at your job. Thank you. Yeah, your shoes are still on. So humble. I'm so humble. Yeah, there they are. Still on there. Cute. Okay, thank you. Chelsea's wearing the Brooks Brothers dress, and of course it does look like it was made for her. Well, thank you, Megan. The length is good. It is great. I think we're going to try it with a different belt. Yeah, put the brown belt on. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So here is the Helmet Lang. Lang dress, which is a legit designer. And look, we changed shoes just because we wanted to get some height, but you're vibing in this so hard. I'm vibing in it. The color is really nice. The material feels really nice. It's so beautiful. I love the length of it. Yeah. And the little fringe at the bottom. Oh yeah, this little detail right here. It makes it feel less. Like, I haven't worn a slip dress yet because it feels very pajamas. And yeah. And like, wear this in your house and yeah. go in public in it. But this one is giving me enough, like, structure. It's so and pretty. And it's like the details on the back. It's so good. pretty. It's just like some thought went into this. Then some thought did go into this. Chelsea's having a debacle where we have two slip dresses that both look amazing on her. So now we're going to post a poll on Instagram. <laughs> so if you don't follow me on Instagram, let this be your lesson because I don't think I recorded the other dress. So yes, we're going to do a poll. They both look this good on her though. So it's kind of a problem, but they're slightly different. I pulled this tennis dress out of inventory because Chelsea told me she bought some tennis outfits the other day. And I was like, I have the world's most perfect tennis dress. And here it is. The world needs to see this vintage little it's Wilson. So it's so cool. Like, it's truly the cutest thing ever. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so it's much. It's really adorable. Yeah, you. It's I amazing. trust you. I, I put my money on you to win the tennis match. <laughs> hey, I had put this dress on the rack, and I think I even have a video of me being like, I should take this off. I put it on selfishly for me. But it is so... Cute. You like it. Yeah. It's very flattering. It's comfortable. It's like... Uh, we were talking about this is from the early 2000s, probably. Yeah, I think so, and yeah. Mary and I were both born the same year. <laughs> we might have been a little too young. Like, this might have been too womanly. Yes, to yes, wear yes, at yes. At age 12. Right. But now here we are. Rocking finally, it. Finally, <laughs> to enjoy this trend. The good parts of the Y2K. Okay, some people that love Y2K are going to come for me for saying that, but there are parts of the Y2K fashion that is not what they are wearing these days. There are parts. That are painful. I just, I'm happy to participate. This is a good this part. Way. This is one of the good Maybe parts. Sneaker and I'll show. Oh yeah, Chelsea put this sweater on earlier and she was like, I feel rich. Rich. It's rabbit hair and this, which is Angora and cashmere. Okay. And it's, it's giving, yeah, it's giving wealthy. Has a, it. Yeah, it's cute. It's really sweet. It's soft. And we, every pink that you've put on, we've been worried about, but I think I like all of them on you. Yeah, yeah, you you have a hard job. <laughs> okay, so I got mildly insecure about having two horse tops on Chelsea's rack, and then she pulled this horse top off of the reject pile and was like, "No, we're gonna wear it." How do you feel? Great. Good. Horsey. Horsey. She's feeling horsey. <laughs> these slacks back on, which I love, because these are actually menswear slacks, and they really do look so great on you. Like they're made for you. The Brighton belt. Well, we've been making fun of Brighton this whole time, but I love me some Brighton. It's very cute. They make a it's good very belt. Very cute, and um, it just ties for me. It ties it together because I never wear belts, and I just feel like a shoe belt for a professional. Like I'd wear this in the office. Definitely and feel polished. Put together, polished, and um, that was something I was looking to do. Polished AF. Good job. <laughs> the trench. I have to show the trench because when I was looking at Mew Mew, Mew Mew loves a trench. They love a trench. They also love beige. There was so much beige in their last collection. I was like, what the hell? So this is like literally two of the biggest Mew Mew things right now. I, what, my favorite I'm part about this in all the details, so is the like, back so... yoke. The back yoke. Have you seen the back yoke of it? What's the yoke? It's this part. It's the yoke. You turn around. You can see it. Oh, okay. It's really, really cute. It's got like oh, a double button oh, thing. Mary. Isn't that so cute? Yeah, it has a lot of great detail in it. It's a good one. Chelsea, you're finished your rack. I think you had mild success. 
had a lot of success. How do you feel? Sedated. <laughs> Careful with Mary's rack. <laughs> I'm very happy with things. I tried on a lot of winners today, several winners, and I'm very excited to wear them to work and play. What thing are you most excited about? I'm very excited for my new velvet pants. Oh, yeah, the velvet suit. To wear to work. Yeah. We discussed we're probably not going to wear the full suit together all the time. But do some separate. Do some separate work. I'm very excited for some of the sweaters, the knits. There's a lot of cashmere. Definitely. Um, a lot of soft materials, like, you know, the zebra. That one, I think, is cashmere, this too, and silk. Oscar de la Renta. You hear it? This is the designer. We got the designer. This is Oscar de la Renta. Like, I'm going to step into the law firm in this, just feeling like a million bucks. Do you feel like you've made it into the office fashion show today? Yeah. Okay, good. That was one of my goals. I'm going to just walk the catwalk of the hallways of the law firm, and I'm going to feel so good, especially in my new gator-esque loafers with tassel included incredible so good well thank you so much this has been so great thank you okay bye it's the next day and chelsea has come and gone and i gotta say i nailed it i knew that she was gonna leave here with a huge pile i just knew there were so many things on that rack that i was like she's gonna love this and i was i was right i was right and it felt really good to just be like I'm good at my job. Um, so like I said, I've never had a bad day doing this and I'm so grateful to Chelsea for letting me film her. I know it's like such a private experience so it truly means the world to me that I have so many clients that are like, yeah, no problem. Um, and we had a great time. And honestly, I, there's not much more to say. You saw it. It went so well. She looked great and everything and I'm so excited about what she walked away with. Thank you so much for watching this. I want to say a huge thank you if you're one of my first 1,000 subscribers. I just hit 1,000 subscribers. Seems unreal. Hit it pretty fast. Um, kind of crazy, but I feel super, super, super lucky that so many people have connected with what I'm doing. And I plan on continuing to bring this kind of content. So if you liked this, please like it, comment, tell me what you enjoyed. I try to respond to every comment. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep that up, but right now it's really important for me to like let y'all know that like, I'm really excited you're here watching these videos and I want to keep making them so the more people that I get to this channel the more likely it will be that I can keep them up because it's, it's, um, it's a lot of work. So I want to insert just a couple of pictures oh, over here. Here's some stuff just so you can see how cute she looked and everything one last time. Thank you so much again Chelsea. Y'all take care and like, subscribe, tell a friend about Mary's Rack and take care. Bye.